Hi, hey, this is Mohammed Sadiq. As you know, I'm originally from Pakistan, and Pakistan has been in the news for a long time for wrong reasons, by the way. And I'm sure our leadership is trying to solve those problems. However, there are still a lot to do, and I'm sure we will fix most of those problems with the time together. Why I'm telling you all this? Because my guest today is also from another country, and she, the, her country is also in the news for the wrong reasons, by the way. And they have able to overcome most of their problems, I know as per my little information. However, we are going to ask her about her career, all the, in spite of all the problems happening in the countries, nothing stopped her, by the way. She started on Fiverr a couple of years ago, not that long, and she never even wanted to be on Fiverr, by the way. She was the buyer on Fiverr for something else before she became actually the seller and started making money. And recently, not long ago, she became the Fiverr super seller. And that's the highest status you can get on Fiverr. We are going to ask our guest that one, how she got it, how she got started, and how she got inspired. And by the way, before you go away, she was under debt when she started on Fiverr. No, and then after joining the Fiverr, she made so much money from Fiverr. She is a debt-free apartment, paid altogether, zero debt. I'm talking about zero, nothing left. And plus, she has a number of employees and making money and profit. Her business has grown a long way, and I'm sure she's also more excited to grow her business. I'm telling you all the summary what's going to happen in this interview. Welcome, Daniela Wild. Hi, thank you for having me. Daniela, let me start with this. Where were you? What happened? Who you were surrounded with that, that inspired you to work on Fiverr and make a killing, I'm telling you right now. Well, let me tell you that it all started a few years back. I was actually in a big debt and I just got married. I was buying an apartment and really needed to get paying all my my things. So actually, I had met Fiverr almost four or five years ago and decided to put my profile. The thing I know how to do the best is research. So basically, researching is what I know. I know how to buy good tickets. I know how to research for things. So I just said, what the hell? Just let's put it in there and look for a place and let's see if it works. About two days later, I had my first client. I'm, I still remember my first client, which asked me about camel nose rings. It was a very funny thing because I was getting paid $4 and still I contact like 20 veterinarians in the U.S. and try to ask them the question he wanted. So he was very happy with the work. And this is how, how I got started with, with Fiverr. It has been a very long journey and it has been very inspiring because it has given me the opportunity to not have the 9 to 5 job which I would definitely not like to have ever. <laughs> so I'm working towards getting my own, my own company, which I have right now, and working into making it grow and giving a great service while it grows, which is sometimes hard. <laughs> yes, definitely. Thank you so much. And congratulations to you on your making a success and earning this Fiverr Supercell status. And tell us, you only do searches. I'm, I'm not saying only. Uh, I want to make it the point. You don't have the graphic skills. You do. Somebody want to book a ticket from LA to New York. You find them the cheapest ticket, then you charge five bucks to them. Uh, what, tell us what the online searches mean. Okay, so basically, what I do is anything you want to find out, I will look it up for you. I have access to a lot of databases, which have helped me get a lot of information. The prices, I don't charge five dollars anymore so much because I like doing uh, bigger projects. And Fiverr has changed its policy into allowing uh, sellers to to actually charge more for the services we offer. Right now, one of my very strong jobs is business plans. I love working with startups, with new entrepreneurs. Part of it mixes part of what I like of getting new ideas and also researching and creating new startups and new and new businesses. So that's one of my strongest. Also, I get a lot of people that need to find sellers, distributors, competition analysis, marketing plans, industry research. So this is basically my main focus and sometimes I get some translations because obviously I'm from Colombia but lived in the US and actually was in going to an American school for most of my life so so I can make translations as well that's one of my minor gigs <laughs> you know that's good one so you can translate from Spanish to English and English to Spanish both ways when the people want exactly. so tell us thank you so much that's a great uh, in, information I'm sure you worked on so many searches and what was the most popular search you have done which was so interesting to you and also the client loved it you know let's see people get very happy with the business plans I think because they're so excited to start their business so they really like that 
There's other people who, who pay $5 and I actually work for the $5 and they expect to get something very lame and they get something really good so they get really excited. I send them really good papers. What else? Let's see. For research, there's very funny topics. Like I, I've gotten people that actually want research on, on murders that have come, been going on. So I don't even understand. There's crazy people that want to find out. For example, there's there's times where there's trends, you know, there's people that want to know the Internet of Things. Lately, that has been going on around and people are very enthusiastic towards that. So there's trends in, in what you see people like. Yeah, Internet of Things, in case you are watching and you say, what is that? Just Google the Internet of Things. That's a multi-trillion dollar industry. It's not a small one. They really want to know and you are really and you're getting paid from your client and plus you are learning new stuff what's happening in the world right now, Daniela. That's a wonderful stuff. Yes, actually I work with a lot of college students that want me to do their college work. So it's like I'm studying all over again. <laughs> <laughs> And that's good. So you're learning the more knowledge and they're just getting the kind of degrees, basically. That's why they're still trying to look for a job, by the way, most of the time. Okay, let's focus on you. So once you became a Fiverr super seller, after that status, is there any significant change in your business? Business has gone up, down, or stat play, or just a status you earned it from Fiverr? I think more than getting more business, you actually get more recognition. And when people search for, let's say, research, the word research on Fiverr, they obviously want people who are known as top rated sellers or super sellers. Obviously, getting the interview with Fiverr and being published in their blog obviously gives you a lot of of people who read you and want to know about you. It was very exciting to, to get messages from other sellers congratulating. And on Fiverr, it's a very tight community. I love the forum for that because it really does bring you together. So to answer your question, yes, it, it obviously does bring more, more business. So how much more business percent-wise? I don't want to ask you a dollar sign. How much percent-wise you, your business has grown up from that? I would probably say like 40, 50% more. Mm -hmm. it, has, it has grown and one of the things that has grown is the price I charge so maybe I don't get that many orders because I don't do that but actually you have uh, you have up your game now is that right exactly. <laughs> no you exactly. get a better quality of clients that's what you get with being a super seller or top rated seller no? yes yes so, exactly do I have your permission to share your profile with the, my audience of course, of course okay here you go everything for your business Everything, yep. that's a bold claim, <laughs> Daniela. Yep. <laughs> yeah, cool. So you are from a response within one hour, and look, you have a five-star rating. Again, congratulations. That's a big thing. That really means you really care about your quality. Of course, super seller really means a lot, you know. And yep. you started in September 2014. It's almost like a year and a few months. Yeah. However, many people have been working for a number of years. Then they got the Fiverr super seller status. You got in, like you got in, and how you really became on the top very quickly. Tell us, is there any blueprint you followed, and how you really got to the top very quickly? Basically, one of the things I try to focus is on answering clients very fast. Customer service always. Not everyone is satisfied with what you do, but you can always work it out with them and fix it and and get to understand what exactly what they like. So customer service is a very big deal in this in this business and obviously keeping quality very consistent in order to to satisfy the, the client. Really what I did is I shared my story with Fiverr and basically thanked them and this was this was very nice for them and they have been keeping in contact all the time with me. Wonderful, wonderful. I see you have a bestseller. I do awesome web searches on any topic at 24 hours available. How you make it within 24 hours that much research and especially this is your bestseller thing? Most of the web research that I do for 24 hours, I have to leave other things aside. So it becomes a little hectic, but people sometimes just need to get things done as quickly as possible. Just start working right away when I get the order and, and deliver it on time for them. And I can tell if, correct me if I'm wrong, you look like you're passionate about the web, web research part. That's why you really have this as a bestseller. Yeah, internet, internet is amazing. You can find anything you want on it. You just have to learn how to search for it. And that's one of the things I like. Like everything, every single question that comes into your mind, it's amazing, but someone has already asked it. So it's there. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> good so you somebody already asked for it so it's amazing you how you put all this together make sure okay you are helping everyone it's like a generic gig just tell me what you want me to do i will do it that's what you said exactly exactly cool and i noticed that you did a very smart thing how you putting it a pre-checked here did a small hundred dollar hundred five if I may ask, what's your average gig size in terms of dollar sign? Average is 200, is the, the average order. Now I work on bigger projects, as I mentioned. Basically, if there's like very simple things, I try to do them for five. But there's, right now, there's not like an intermediate. Most of, most of my orders are 200 and up. Oh, wonderful. That's, I, I interview a lot of people, but usually mostly people have $30, $40, $50. But you worked on... Uh, from five dollar to uh, two hundred dollar, which is again a big third congregation on you. That you really kind of you are a very smart woman. I can tell mm -hmm. how you work and from five dollar to two hundred dollar. What was that experience look like? How you have gone through from that transition, making it five dollar and then ten dollar and then of course twenty dollar and then sometime you say no twenty dollars too much. People nobody is buying it. No, you went back to fifteen dollar again. How, tell us that experience of. Uh, raising the price and of course raising the quality and all, the way you are reorganizing your gigs to make sure people keep paying you higher and hard dollar amount. Tell us. Take as long as because that's the most grilling question I have. You. To be honest, when I started, five dollars didn't seem a lot, but I actually managed to make like on the second month like eight hundred dollars from five dollar orders, which if you make the count is a lot of orders a month. <laughs> Right now you can do custom offers where you can offer the price that you want up to $10,000. But before that, when you were level one, you could charge up to $20 per order. And then level two, you can charge up to 50. So basically when I started on level two and on level one, and I started charging $20, it was like I was making a million dollars because I was charging four more times more than what I actually charged before, you know? And I remember we were talking on how we got a $90 order and we were like dying to make it because it was our biggest order ever. So it became very funny because now charging like what we charge and charging before, it was a whole process to understand the market and obviously to improve the quality. You always have to improve the length, the quality, what they want because obviously it's not the same giving a $5 order or a $100 order than giving one. I have people that most of my business plans are $1,000 now. And it's not the same paying one thousand dollars and five dollars, and obviously people expect different things. It was it was a very amazing transition on on the expectations you have, starting with five and then <laughs> later charging more. So is that you are passionate about making marketing plans, or you learned it while you were doing it, the web research, and you can transition into marketing plans more? How that transition happened? I started with business plans. People started asking for business plans in the web research gig, so I decided to add it as, as an alternate gig. A business plan encompasses everything. So it encompasses a competition, a target market analysis, an industry research. So basically what I did is divided it up because many people just want the marketing plan. Many people just want to know how the industry is doing. Many people just want to know their competition. Basically, I just divided this and made it into different gigs and that each time I do business plans I get more experience and more things because not everyone is the same and not everyone wants to to have the same thing so that made me evolve and it's a great story by the way you can uh, while you are still watching this and you see that how she can make a thousand dollar on one order on a fiber and average is two hundred dollar and you feel like you're providing a high-end services basically it's not a typical low-end service at all most of the people make five ten twenty thirty dollars which is a great money by the way it's nothing wrong with that she started with the five dollar however she had an eye on how to get to the top basically that's how she is right now and i'm going to ask how many employees you have and how much expense you got not the dollar wise i don't say okay if you make a let's say one thousand dollar a month i know you make a lot more than that i don't want to disclose your income you may how much you keep percent wise and how much it goes into expense and how many employees you have well basically right now i have two employees they help me with the research so what i do is i put things together for for the client everything is supervised by by me they take around because now we have an office i had them working in my house and it was a disaster obviously you woke up and you didn't want people in your house so we got an office a small office they work from there now they take around 
40% of the income? Of course, they take a 40%, you make a 60% profit and they do the work now. You, your job is to get the orders mostly and pass on work to them most of it. <laughs> I think I work more than them because there's too many orders. There's things like business plans, I don't leave them to anybody else. And most of the bigger orders, I do them myself since I don't, one of my rules is I don't want to lose quality. And sometimes just not being able to supervise that makes them, makes us lose the quality. So Daniela, tell us. What are your future plans? How you, where you want to go from here? You know, I know you are making a good living. You have, a, I keep saying it, you have a debt-free apartment, which is a big thing in Colombia. Is that right? Yes, yes. I'm okay. very grateful for that. Yes, wonderful. And what are your future plans? Uh, where you want to go from here? Basically, want to keep growing with Wild Daniel 88, which I'm actually making it as a brand. I recently did the website where I explain a little bit more of who I am, who the team is, and everything. And growing it with people. I, I love what I do and I love working on, on this project. So just want to make it grow and want to get people to know me and help them out. So my plans are to continue with, with this. Oh, it's amazing. You exclusively work on Fiverr or you have other, like uh, there are other freelancing sites you, you have also over there too? I tried for in the beginning to work on Elance, which is now Upwork, but I actually like the more the mechanism Fiverr. Since I am so busy, I like the, that they come to me and I don't have to go searching for jobs, which is how Upwork works. You The, the client posts the job and you apply to it, but that takes a lot of time. And there's a lot of great candidates there. It's it's harder to compete with. Yeah. So the best thing you got from Fiverr is so far I learned it. You are you are focusing on a qual delivering quality work, and Fiverr send you the order. You don't have to find orders. Just keep focusing on delivering the high quality orders. Yes. Yes. Definitely. Thanks to the reviews and to the rating and everything, yeah. I get a lot of messages a day. So so that allows me to answer quickly, but not have to focus on getting clients. Okay, wonderful. Daniela, I really appreciate you are aware of that. I am the founder of Pakistani Social Entrepreneurship Academy. That's a project of Al Sharif Foundation. And we are on a mission to train 1 million entrepreneurs in Pakistan. So they too can support themselves and support their family. If I ask you for them on their behalf, what are the top three things you want them to focus on and create a success on a Fiverr or Elance or anything? Like the top three things. Imagine this. They are trying to steal from you your knowledge, not the money. <laughs> so they can implement it and go away from it. Basically, we want them to have, give it back, pay it forward basis. Okay, so basically what I would say is keep the quality high. That's basic. Great customer service. There are very difficult clients and there's very difficult people in the world. But you have to keep patience and you have the, the advantage that you don't have to deal with them face to face. So just breathe and relax and try to answer better I would say hard work sometimes I myself had to go through this you think that just being there it's enough and that you don't have to do anything it takes a lot of hard work it takes a lot of sacrifice in terms of time I have worked until 3 a.m. for many many nights and woke up at 7 a.m. the next morning I have worked many Sundays and Saturdays clearly it was all worth it for for things like this <laughs> But it does take time, it does take sacrifice, and it takes a lot of things that you have to leave aside in terms of partying, in terms of putting your priorities together in order to understand how you get to, to be where you are. No, oh, that's amazing. Very well said. And the one more thing I want to ask you. When you were getting initially $5 and you came as a buyer, then you moved into a seller thing. And I'm sure for a while you were not really getting any orders much and not making very little money and I'm sure you were kind of depressed. Oh, I don't know if it's good for me or not. And how you kept going? I, you know, something. Tell us authentically how you kept going to really, so you believed into this one is going to work for you. Basically, what I did is since the beginning when I got my first order, obviously at the beginning you don't get so many people. You just have to stay there and and hope for the best and do very good quality work in order to get reviews. Reviews is what gets you clients. That's that's for sure. And obviously at that time, since I knew my whole income couldn't depend on that, I started tutoring people on, on my hometown. So I started tutoring people and doing other little things that kept me motivated to, to keep going. That's amazing. I'm about to ask you something and I can only expect your yes answer to that one. Do I have a permission to ask you a question where I get the yes answer? Yes, of course. <laughs>
So thank you for trusting me that. Of course, I'm going to ask that you have a hell lot of knowledge, very deep knowledge of Fiverr, how to make it right from taking from $5 order to $200 average order. And you also make $1,000 on your orders on that. I know it's a marketing plan is a relatively high ticket item. However, there's a lot more goes into this, you know, from $5, how I should design everything so people can pay more and pay more and keep going up and up. And of course, focus on quality work. Here, here's what I want from you. I want a 15 minutes of your donation of your time every month, first Friday of month, 15 minutes, we will start on time and end on time. I will ask you only one question. Give me top three strategies of the month which you worked last month and show us the process how somebody can implement it. And that's it. We will take that one, take a recording and show it to our all the students so they can actually learn it from it and implement in their own gigs the way they want it. So that way you are paying it forward and they are all kind of giving you the best wishes and thank you Daniela for sharing with us. I really appreciate the donation of your time. Thank you so much for taking your time as well for this. Yeah. Daniela, I'm going to ask a more deeper question. Why you said yes to my question? On regards to time, because yeah. I think one of the mistakes people make is not being able to share the knowledge. People sometimes keep them to themselves and think that because you share what you do or share how you do it, they're going to steal your ideas. I think everyone has a different magic in order to succeed with their business. And there are many sellers on Fiverr that have come to me and told me, how do you do this? And many people that do the same thing as I do. And there is there is basically no secret. Like I don't have to put people down in order to, to stand out, you know? So, so basically, if we all help each other, I think, as you mentioned, being from Pakistan, you understand how hard for us is to to strive, which is not the same as for people in the US or for many other developed countries. And being able to help each other and being able to succeed is actually not only going to help ourselves and to help others, but it's actually going to help our countries and it's going to help the people we're with and to get better humans and better workers that actually will make the our countries better. Thank you so much. You really made my day on this one. I'm telling you, that's the interview of the day, whole day. I, you could not have said better than this one, the way you said it. Thank you. And someone is watching right now, how they can help you. If someone was watching, just, I don't know, just share the experience, share the th things with that I do, tell the people what I do. Obviously, just getting people to to know. There's many people that go up to you. Do you know persons that do this? This video, I, the people that did my video, I send them directly to him with, because I'm very grateful. So just sharing what I do and, and how I work, that would be amazing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm sure they will do that. Thank you, Daniela Weil, for sharing your wisdom with us today on the behalf of Pakistani Social Entrepreneurship Academy and its entire community. We appreciate you. This is Mohammed Siddiq signing off from Atlanta, wishing you good luck, good sales, and I do hope our path across gain with another amazing guest. Until then, bye-bye.